Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to be talking about Tally.so. Tally.so is an online no code form builder and here we are on the home page. It is described as the simplest way to create forms and it allows us to create forms for all purposes in seconds without any code. As you can see right here, you can just start typing if you're working from scratch and it works like a doc. Some of the benefits of using Tally as a form builder are that it is one of the best forms to embed in Notion and also when compared with other form building tools, it has a much more clean looking end result. As you can see, if you look at this comparison between a Google form and a Tally form, they're both forms made for the same purpose for contact information. But as you can see, the Tally form on the right is much more clean looking than the one on the left, which is a Google form. Also, just like Google form, Tally is 99% free. And if you scroll down here, you can see it's designed for creators, for products, marketing, and so on. It collects data, you can share the forms, you can get reports from the data, and you can organize teams and workspaces. And today, what we're gonna be doing is showing a tutorial of how you can make a simple form on tally.so using one of their templates. So let's get right into it. Before we get into the video, we just wanted to bring to your attention that a large number of our viewers are not actually subscribed. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps us out a lot. Now let's get back to the video. So let's start off with our tutorial. So we come up here to create form. And here we go. We have our canvas over here. It looks exactly like a simple document. Here you can put in your title and you can create a form or we can start with the template or just follow these instructions here. But since we're going to be working with a template, let's go over here and choose this option. And here we have a number of templates for our use. And you have your different tabs over here, such as creators, product, marketing, etc. We're gonna go over into product and let's see what we have here. We have a feedback form, user research, surveys, reviews, etc. So we're gonna go with something simple here today and we're gonna look at a user research form. This is the template over here. Let's use this template. So here we have our user research form. This template is in the product category and this form is used by the interviewer to note down information about the session. So here we have our session info, the subject matter, who the interviewer is, the date of the session and whether the user understands the value proposition of the product and whether they're using a similar tool and they ask them to mention the tool and of course the user feedback and the interviewer observations. Here we don't need to change anything, they're just showing you the various fields that are in the user research form. Now here we have our various options in order to add things to this form. Here we have our insert option and you can see different input blocks and here you can see you can add different type of questions, short answer, long answer, multiple choice, etc. You can have input blocks as well, similarly, and then email, phone number blocks, layout blocks, embed blocks and certain conditional logic advanced blocks over here. To this user research form here, let's actually add a new field. So let's say a short answer field. Exactly, let's have the first name of the user over here and we can move this up here to the top of the page. Let's have the placeholder text as your name. Let's actually add a heading above this as well. So a heading three. Insert, let's actually move this up here. Let's say this say user name. So now we can also get the user name into our form and then we can move on to the session info. Similarly, you can insert many other elements over here such as email, phone number, etc. And here you can also insert new pages into our form. So if you click here page, it inserts a new page. Uh, we can trash that for now. Also, you can add logos like this or a cover and you can change the design of the page. You can change the theme. There we go. Now there's some color on the page. Let's go with that. There we go. It's a much more friendlier looking form now. Maybe let's add these images over here. Okay, there we go. Now we have customized it for no code school. And here we have it. This would be what a user research form made in tally.so would look like. Here we have username, session info the various fields and user feedback and interviewer observations and the submit button. So now we can actually preview this form of how it look like to the user. So here we have it. So let's say the user's name is James and the session info subject might be a no code product. Let's say it's Webflow perhaps and the interviewer we choose one of these people and we can choose a random date and we can choose 
understands the value proposition and is not using a similar tool and user feedback would be something the user has an opinion on and the interview observations and then we would submit the form and we would get this completion page so we go back to the editor and there we have it and once you're done with your form you can also publish it if you go here to publishing options and there we go you get a link that you can share to your form and you can copy and paste it anywhere or you can embed it and there we go and once your form is created and published you can actually see the various submissions of who all have submitted the form and you get your share option right here and various integrations that you can add such as google sheets notion etc so there we have it that's how you can create a simple form on tally.so you can start entirely from scratch or you can make use of some of these extremely convenient templates so thanks for watching this video we hope you learned something here today if you liked it don't forget to like the video and if you have any other no code tools that you would like us to cover in the future please let us know down in the comments below until then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.